We recently discussed this uh, subject in the, our computer club here. And uh, I just wanted to give you an overview of that subject. We all have old videotapes, uh, VHS, uh, maybe this small, smaller tape, and then even uh, Super 8 film or 8mm uh, film. You've got all that in the drawer, all family pictures, um, maybe a wedding or two, birthday parties, uh, vacations, things like that. They're all in the drawer gathering dust. And I view the final step of taking videos, pictures, and things like that is sharing them with your family, putting them in a, in a location where they can see them uh, at their leisure, it, rather than one location in a drawer someplace probably forgotten about. There's a few things you can do, and in the process you will learn a lot about your computer and be exposed to some uh, new, uh, new programs. But the first step you have to do, and your computer club can help you, or if you're not in the computer club, uh, your friends, uh, the first thing is to get, find those tapes and film, and then find figure out a way to get them on your computer. They got to have to be in digital form to do this. Uh, get the tape and uh, process it in such that it's on your computer. Now if it's a little tape like this, that's easy. I just did a whole box of them. You put it in the camera, set the camera to play on your computer, and then you can use software to capture these uh, video clips onto your computer. If it's VHS, you can uh, uh, buy a machine or borrow a machine or take it to somebody and they'll do it. They'll convert it into a DVD. You can operate with that DVD. There's, there's a real crude way I did it. I, uh, the, the, part, the, the film and movies that I could not uh, convert to, uh, to digital, I simply projected them on a small screen. Uh, either on a wall in the case of film or with VHS, the old big tapes, I played it on a small uh, TV set. I then set up my little camera, video camera, and captured clips from uh, those tapes or that film. Crude, you lose uh, some uh, quality, certainly, but it uh, doesn't cost anything. And it's fairly easy to do, and you can get the stuff into your computer. All right, once you get the uh, videos into your computer where you can deal with them, you'll have to build your movie. And the way you build a movie is, you, in the case of a PC, you, uh, you use Movie Maker, and the latest is Live Movie Maker. In the case of a Mac, it's iMovie, and we just had a presentation at our computer club, and uh, I'm really impressed with the iMovie software. It looks good. Uh, so far, I've only uh, touched the surface using uh, Movie Maker, the, old, the, the original Microsoft Movie Maker system. It works good for me. So you'll probably need help in uh, figuring out how to use Movie Maker. Uh, I got help from my 12-year-old grandson, so it's there. You just got to wade into it and figure it out. Uh, I'm sure you have some friends who can show you that or your computer club. Once you, um, in the case of Movie Maker, once you get the clips in, into the timeline, the actual movie, you put a title on it, you put some credits at the other end, and uh, then you can edit each clip. And this is where it's important to get your two-hour tape down to about 15 minutes, no more than 20. Because nobody's going to watch uh, anything over 20 minutes on a video you might send them. So get it short. Eight minutes, great. I recently did uh, one of my daughter's weddings. I had two hours of pretty good tape from the wedding, and I got it down to 19 minutes. And uh, that's, uh, that's the highlights. It's, uh, it's plenty. You don't need every song in the wedding taped or every speech taped or every uh, procession and recession taped. You can easily get the highlights.
and including the reception and coming and going from church and so forth. Now this is where the sharing part comes. comes. Once you've got your movie made and you're somewhat proud of it and you've got it short and you've cut out, cut down each clip to uh, maybe a, a 10 second uh, shot of something's all you need. You don't need a, a minute, a minute and a half showing a car drive up or something like that. Or a dance. The dance is good. Uh, you see somebody dancing for a few seconds, that's plenty to get the point across. So you go to YouTube. YouTube is uh, free. You'll have to sign up uh, to uh, be, a, be a user. And once you do that, you upload your movie to YouTube. And that takes a few minutes. If you've got a 20-minute movie, it may take a half hour to upload it. And uh, you can label it as private, public, or unlisted. I use unlisted on my family videos. Uh, and that means that the only people who can watch it, they, who, the, the people who know the link to it. In the case of private, it's a lot more complicated, and I've tried to use it. I don't use it. But I, I don't use private. In public, uh, for things like outings I go on on my antique cars and so forth, I throw those up on public. I've got nothing personal there. So once you get them... Uh, loaded, uploaded to YouTube, you have a linkage, um, a link to that. You then copy that link and you paste it into a, um, an email to your friends and family, whoever you want to see this movie, and you simply send that email out and they click on that link, they've got your movie. If they save it, they've got your movie uh, forever, or as long as it's on YouTube, and I, I don't know what the limit is there. But uh, this does uh, allow you to get the videos, video treasures really from the family, out of the drawer and out to your family. And it's interesting that the video um, I did of the weddings, I think 30 years old. So now uh, everyone sees themselves 30 years ago and that's a lot of fun. The little flower girl, she's now a mom uh, with three kids and uh, she gets a kick out of seeing herself uh, walk down that aisle. So I hope this helps and uh, lean on some of your friends who are computer savvy to pull this off because every family needs to get those out of the dusty drawer and out to your friends.